Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort and today we're going to be focusing on Downtown Disney. Today is May 4th, so may the 4th be with you guys. We're going to be seeing everything that Downtown Disney has to offer for May the 4th. So I think we're going to be starting this Downtown Disney trip over here at World of Disney. Let's go see if there's anything new today. Alright guys, we just got inside of World of Disney and over here in the Main Street Electrical Parade 50th Anniversary Merchandise. Looks like they have a new light up sign. There's a button, so you know we have to push it. Wow, that's cool. This light up sign is $49.99. So we just walked to the Star Wars section, and I was really hoping there'd be something new today since it's Star Wars Day, but sadly there's nothing new in this section. They do, however, have some new wishables in stock today. It looks like the common is Chewbacca. That is too awesome. Here's a look at the packaging. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run Attraction Series. So here's a look at the ones you guys can get. You can get the Millennium Falcon, Hondo Anaka, you can get a Porg, and R5P8. And in case you guys are wondering, these are $14.99. So we just got to room 5 and it looks like there's new pins over here. So it looks like there's technically 5 new pins for today. I have this pretty cool Darth Vader one. This one's $17.99. And they have this Obi-Wan Kenobi pin. I really kind of want to buy these. I don't know. I'm like debating because they look so cool. $17.99 for this one. And then they have this DJ Rex one. $19.99. Looks like they have an R2-D2 pin, or an R-Series pin. $19.99. And then lastly, there's this pin. I think I showed you guys this one the other day at DCA. It's that droid that, uh, that's at Ronto Roaster, but this one's also pretty cool. This one's $19.99. But besides that, I think that's basically it for World of Disney today. So we ended up leaving World of Disney, and you guys already know, we ended up buying the pins. <laughs> I got the Obi-Wan Kenobi one and the Darth Vader one. But anyways, I think our next stop is going to be Marceline's Confectionery because I want to see if they have any new like Star Wars treats. So it looks like that's a no. They are uh, making more Grogu apples. I saw in the window, but it looks like that's the only Star Wars themed treat that they're going to have in here. And then, as I mentioned, if you look in the window, you can see that they're currently making a bunch of Grogu apples. So over by the Lego store, it looks like they put out a couple of Lego photo ops. Look at this. It's like a six foot Captain Phasma made out of Legos. That's awesome. And then check out all these tables. So it says you can help build an eight foot tall Lego Yoda model. And I guess this started on May 2nd, but it's going on through the 4th. So I guess today's the last day, but look, look how it's coming along. <laughs> this is an eight foot tall Yoda. I guess all that's left is his head, but that's awesome. That's how it's going to look at the end. And then over here, right next to the store, looks like Kylo Ren's out as well. If you look in the window, you can see Grogu. And I think we're going to head inside so we can see what else they have. So as soon as you walk in the store, you'll see this display. And look, they have all the three new diorama sets on display. You have the trench run, the trash compactor, and the Dagobah Jedi training. And then over here, this is where Luke's landscape is supposed to be, but currently it's not there. And then it looks like they're also giving us some free promos. So you get Lars Family Homestead Kitchen. If you spend over $160, you get an ATST. If you spend over $40, and then you get a free VIP gift. Uh, you have to spend $70. Over $70 to get a Beskar keychain. I'm so tempted. <laughs> they even have a photo op in here. Look, they have a red trooper that you can take a photo in front of. Completely made out of Legos. So we just made it to the back of the store, and over here where they have like the Lego keychain display, they have the the promos display. Let me go and show you guys. So here's a look at the Lars Family Homestead. It's a pretty small set, but you know, it's free. So, well, you have to spend over 160 to get it, but it's free. 
And then here's the ATST. This one is, is pretty tiny as well. Uh, this one just spent over $40 to get. And then this one I'm a little disappointed in. This is the, the best car keychain. This thing is like tiny. This one you have to spend over $70 for. So when I first walked into the store, I asked one of the, the Lego employees if they had any more of the Luke's Land Speeder. And they said they did, but they had them in the back room. Because I guess they were selling out really fast. So whatever they put out, they, they keep like selling out like really fast. So she was nice enough to let me see one. So let me go ahead and show you guys the, the box. It's really cool. So here's Luke's Land Speeder. This is a new release. Uh, if you're a VIP member, you were able to get this on the first. But I think today's the official day that it got released. And it's a beautiful set. I believe this one's $200, so the price isn't as nice, but <laughs> the set's cool. And it comes with Luke Skywalker and C-3PO. I'm definitely debating on getting this. And here's a close look at that C-3PO. This is the actual size. And then, I always forget to show you guys this, but I know you guys always ask. This set has 1,890 pieces. And then this is basically like the last thing I have to show you guys. This isn't Star Wars related, but it was recently released. It's the, the minifigures Muppet set. These are $4.99. I think I'm going to pick up at least two of these. Let's see what we get. Alright, well, we ended up leaving the Lego store. That was very expensive, but worth it. So we have this massive yellow Lego bag. I got the land speeder and then I got those two Muppet uh, minifigure sets and then because we spent the max we got all three promos. So we got the Lego ATST. We got the best car keychain. Let me open it for you guys so I can show you guys. Whoops. It's small, but you know what? I will say it's got some weight to it. It's really heavy. <laughs> and then lastly, we got this promo, the Lars Family Homestead Kitchen. So, not bad, I think. Let me go and unbag those Muppet sets for you guys. So there was like no real easy way to like unbag those uh, Muppet sets. So I ended up just unbagging them off camera and then I built them. So let me go and show you guys what we got. So the first one we got was Janice. She comes with a guitar. And then we got Miss Piggy. It's cool. I was hoping for Kermit, but Miss Piggy's cool. But anyways, it looks like we have one more store to visit, and that's going to be Star Wars Trading Post. So before you even enter the store, you can tell that the looks like that merch cargo is finally open. And it looks like there's a few new things in stock, like this Bantha Cup looks new. This one's $9.99. And it's just like a plastic cup, like. But they have tons of them. But besides the cup, looks like they have a few new shirts in stock. They have this Millennium Falcon one. It's nice. Sleeves kind of rolled up. And I think this is a, I think this might be like a woman's shirt, but. It's really nice. I like the color. That one's cute. Looks like the shirt retails for $36.99. And sizes looks like they range from a extra small to a 3X. And they have this kid sweater. I like what it says on the back. I'll show you guys. It says Best in the Galaxy. <laughs> now I wonder if they're talking about the Millennium Falcon or the kid wearing it. This sweater retails for $44.99. And sizes range from a small to an XL in kid sizes. And they also have this kids t-shirt. They did a really nice job with all these all this merch. Looks really nice. This one's $29.99. And then same like the sweater, the sizes range from a small to an XL. And then they have this adult shirt. It says resist. Be the spark, light the fire. That's awesome. I like how it's kind of simple, and then like the back is just like X-wing. 
Thirty-six ninety-nine, and then the biggest size it goes up to is a two X. Then they have a new hat. My airbrush is a little rusty, so if you guys know what that says, let me know. This hat retails for let's see the price. This one's twenty-nine ninety-nine, and then lastly they have this shirt. It's a little different. <laughs> it feels like a dry fit shirt, but it feels nice. Feels like it'll keep you kind of cool. This one's $39.99, and it looks like sizes range from a small to a 3X, but even though it's in my size, I don't think I'm gonna be getting one of these. Not a big fan. And then on the other side of the merch cart, it looks like they have some Joy Depot merch. So I've never seen this hat before. Droid Builders. This one's it's like $34.99. It's kind of cool because it looks like there's a little pocket on the side of the hat. Probably fit like a quarter in there or something. <laughs> it's nice. And then they also have this little bag. Well, it's more of like a utility belt. Droid Builders. I thought it was one bag, but it's multiple bags. And then they have this little baggie on the side too. This little belt costs $29.99. They also have a new kid shirt. Check that out. I like this one. <laughs> Left it on the back. This shirt retails for $29.99 and looks like sizes range from a, I want to say small to an XL in kid sizes. And then above that shirt they have a new hoodie. It says Droid Builders. This one's $59.99. Let me show you guys the back. Oh, nothing on the back. And in case you guys are wondering, sizes range, it looks like from a small to a 2X. So I know I'm showing you guys a lot of merch, but there's even more, so just bear with me. So they have these new Star Wars water bottles. They look like the old uh, Kenner action figures. This one's $27.99. And then here's one of two Spirit jerseys that I'm going to show you guys today. Here's the front. It says, it says Star Wars down here. Star Wars 45. And on the back, looks like more of those uh, Kenner action figures on the back. That is so cool. The spirit jersey is, uh, it doesn't say, but I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's $74.99. And I just noticed this on the sleeve. It says vintage collection figures. I like this new hoodie. It's got Darth Vader and a bunch of stormtroopers. And on the bottom says security services. <laughs> Never underestimated. So it says down there. And here's a look at the back. This hoodie retails for $59.99. Looks like sizes range from an extra small to I want to say a 2X, but they only currently go up to a large. That's all they have in stock right now outside. Here's the adult t-shirt. These are not the toys you're looking for. <laughs> this is collect them all. That is so sick. And here's a look at the back. I am your father. Move along. <laughs> Shirt retails for $36.99. And look at the biggest size it goes up to is a 2X. Here's a kid's shirt. It says, excuse me, sir, but that RT unit is in prime condition. A real bargain. R2 to the rescue. R2's repair shop and information retrieval. Astromech droid. This one's $19.99. And then here's a look at the back. And then the biggest size this one goes up to is an extra large in kid sizes. But we finally made it inside of the store and guess what? There's more new merch. They have this pretty cool kid sweater. It's got Boba Fett, Yoda, R2, Darth Vader. 
It's nice. This one's $34.99. And it's just like an all around print. Uh, biggest size is an extra large. Starts with an extra small. And they have the Stormtrooper shirt, which I like this. I like Stormtroopers. Oh, that's cool. And it's the back of the helmet. <laughs> This one's $24.99. And they have a long sleeve adult shirt. And it's Boba Fett themed. I like this one. Ooh, this shirt is really soft. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's really soft. This one's $44.99. And sadly, they don't have my size. It goes up to a 2X only. So there's a whole lot going on with this shirt. So on the left side, this is... Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. And you got this random pocket down here. I don't know what that's about. But I like this side. You have like stacked characters. You got um, a Stormtrooper, you got Boba Fett, Darth Vader, R2, and then Yoda at the bottom. And then it's just nice and simple on the back. It's black. This one retails for $36.99. And then like I mentioned earlier, there's two spirit jerseys. The one I showed you guys outside and then this one. It says Rebel Leader on the front. Like Got some X-Wings. And here's a look at the back. It says, may the force be with us. Spirit jersey retails for, ah, uh, the price is not on it. But again, if I had to take a guess, I'd say it's $74.99. And it looks like the biggest size it goes up to is a 2X. So besides all the clothing at the entrance, we also have a new mug, $709. Black Spire Outpost. This is nice. I don't know if this has been out already, but it's new to the store. It says Strength Through Order on the inside. This one's $19.99. And then they have this water bottle. Looks like a Stormtrooper. This one, ah, oh, it doesn't say how much it is, sadly, but it says it's from Galaxy's Edge. So just a heads up, in case you guys can't find those new wishables at World of Disney, you can find them here at the Star Wars Trading Post. Because I don't have any See, more like, They have tons of the Chewbacca, and them, they have but the other one's like a handful of the, the mystery packs. So something else that's new in here besides like uh, clothing and mugs, they, all, they have a new uh, build your own lightsaber station here. And it's not like Savvy's Workshop, it's like the, the plastic lightsabers you can make in, in uh, Star Trader. So let me go through all the steps with you guys. So step one, choose an emitter. Here are your choices. You can get a deluxe or a basic one. Step two, you choose a blade. And step three, you choose a hilt. Step four, customize hilt. Combine rings and sleeves to fill the hilt. And it looks like to do this experience, it's uh, $29.99 for a single, and then $29.99 for a single deluxe. And then if you do a double, it's $44.99. And then same if you do the double deluxe. And lastly, step five, you choose an end cap or adapter. And then besides that, it looks like they got some new pins in stock. They got all five of the ones I showed you guys earlier. Plus they have this May the 4th Be With You 2022 pin. It's a Bounty Hunters pin. This one's $17.99. And then they have a new Grogu pin. This one's also $17.99. So there's one more new pin that I have to show you guys, but that one you can only see behind the counter. So behind the counter they have a jumbo pin, and it's a Bounty Hunters pin. Look at that. May the 4th be with you, 2022. And then this one retails for $54.99. A little pricey, but it's definitely worth it. It's a nice pin. All right, guys, so we finally left the Star Wars Training Post. There was so much merchandise in there. I highly recommend you guys come, like, on the weekend or something. Check it out, because there's a lot of new stuff. Uh, now I'm standing right in front of the new uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi photo op that they have. It's made out of sand, so let me go and show you guys. It's pretty cool. So as I mentioned, it's for the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series that starts on May 27th. And then here's the photo op. Look at that. This is 100% made out of sand. And it doesn't look like they're fully done yet. It looks like they still have, like, their sculpting tools right there, but... It says Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then, let me show you guys that side. And then on this side, it says Disney Plus. Jeez. Whoever did this has some serious skills. 
I don't care what anybody says, that's probably the coolest photo op I've ever seen. But anyways, I think I'm in the video here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.